Hi everybody, it's your pharmacist Sunki here. Today we're going to be talking about premature ejaculation. Sunki, mm hmm. This channel is dedicated to better your health. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button down below and thumbs up. Without further ado, let's rock it. Premature ejaculation is the most common sexual problem for men. It is the lack of control over ejaculation where it often happens sooner than what the man or his partner wants. Why does premature ejaculation happen? It is common for a man to ejaculate quickly for the first time of sex or when he hasn't ejaculated for a long time. Occasionally losing control over ejaculation is normal and it doesn't mean that the man has sexual problem. However, when this becomes frequent, it's a problem. Some men have premature ejaculation because they have erectile dysfunction where they are unable to keep the erection for sex. Others have premature ejaculation due to some chemical imbalance in the brain or psychological problems such as performance anxiety, feeling anxious about sexual partner's rejection, expecting failure, negative sexual experiences in childhood, religious beliefs, stress, problems with relationship, and so on. If you have frequent premature ejaculations, what should you do? Now, if you do not want to see your doctor yet and would like to try something before that, there are things in the pharmacy that a pharmacist could recommend you. Number one, lignocaine or lidocaine spray or gel where you can get it without a script from the pharmacy. Lignocaine or lidocaine are anesthetics. It will help desensitize the penis so you need more stimulation for ejaculation, thus slowing down ejaculation. Now, if you use this, you must use a condom so that the anesthetic does not get onto your partner. It should be applied 30 minutes before sexual intercourse. Number two, you may also use two layers of condoms as well to reduce the sensitization of your penis. But bear that in mind that when you use two layers of condoms, it causes friction on the condom and making them easier to break, thus running the risk of contraception failure. However, if contraception is not a concern for you, by all means, give it a try. Number three, you may also want to try some behavioral techniques this includes the semen stop start technique and the Masters and Johnson squeeze. The semen stop start technique involves learning to control the sensation prior to ejaculation. The idea is to repeatedly bring yourself close to ejaculation, then stop and rest. If you do this often enough, you will learn to recognize your point of no return. The Masters and Johnson technique involves squeezing the end of the penis just before ejaculation to lessen the urge to ejaculate. These exercises can be done alone or with a partner. There are other exercises like Kegel exercises you could do as well. Kegel exercises are designed to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Now, where is the pelvic floor muscles and how do we exercise them? Now, to identify your pelvic floor muscles, stop yourself from urinating in midstream and whatever muscle you use to stop that urination at that point is a pelvic floor muscle. Remember that muscle. Now, how do we then exercise that muscle? Tightly contract that muscle and hold for 10 seconds. Repeat 10 times, three times a day. Now, remember, this exercise has to be done on an empty bladder. Now, Kegel exercises can be done anywhere at any time you want, such as waiting for a bus, waiting for the pizza to arrive, walking to work, showering, and no one will know about it. Now, if all of the above fails, it's time to see your doctor. We have mentioned before, depending on the reason of your premature ejaculation, your doctor will prescribe the most appropriate treatment for yourself. If it is a psychological issue, the doctor may refer you to a sex therapist for counseling and psychotherapy to explore the underlying reason for the premature ejaculation and put them at ease. The doctor may also decide to prescribe you some depoxetine. This is an SSRI antidepressant. Brand names are like Prilogy, Restorcetine, Extensil, Cider, and etc. Depoxetine is the only SSRI approved as a treatment for the treatment of premature ejaculation. The side effect of depoxetine is to slow down ejaculations. We are basically using the side effects of this medication to slow down ejaculation. There are other side effects as well for this medication, such as decreased sex drive, bowel disturbance, fatigue, nausea, sweating. 
If you're concerned on any of these, talk to your doctor about it. However, bear that in mind that these side effects are usually minimal and very tolerable. Some might not even experience that. If premature ejaculation is associated with erectile dysfunction, the doctor might prescribe you Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, and etc. I have other videos about Viagra and Cialis and comparing both Viagra and Cialis as well. I'll put the links down below for you. I hope this video is of value to you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Have you used Prology Depoxetine before? What are your experiences with it? Is there any other tips you could give other in regards of premature ejaculation? Or if you simply have other questions about Depoxetine? Now please do let me know what other videos you want me to make. I'm actually also a music producer, singer-songwriter and an actress as well. I do some random vlogs sometimes. If you're interested in knowing more about my other life, check me out on my other videos on my other playlist. I welcome you to join my Sunki family. Let's work together towards better your health and live life to the fullest. It's your pharmacist Sunki here. See you around. Bye.